Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Surplus Nut bringing another video on this P64 Radom that I bought. Uh, it's a 1973 but in excellent shape. And I purchased this gun for a backup that I need now. I just finished ordering a um, ankle holster. This is my um, wife's Versa Thunder 380 Plus and um, she's really been carrying this gun all the time now because I mean with the way that you know crimes and 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 holdups and all the stuff I mean she will carry it carry it on and off but now she's like every day um, carries it so uh, I will use this gun at times for as a backup but um, I've noticed that I see myself now in a situation where I would like to have another backup gun maybe something like in my ankle when I carry my Glock 20 around um, now that I'm gonna need it but you never know it's always good to be prepared and to be sorry and um, um, right now I want to make a video I've been I think I've got like three videos on this P64 now I'm trying to see if I put a couple of videos out that are decent to watch I mean there are there are not that many out there there's only like a two or three that I found that are decent enough to watch uh, a lot of them is just basically putting down the P64 you know they talk bad about the recoil and you know leaving you train rail tracks on the slide when it goes back if you don't grip it right for Christ's sake man it is a small gun that shoots a very powerful cartridge for the size and for the barrel size of the gun okay it shoots a nine millimeter uh, Makarov the uh, um, 9 by 18 okay it's a very powerful uh, weapon for this gun all right now um, again I want to do a safety check just so you guys can see the gun it's unloaded this one is not the Versa okay nothing on the chamber okay but obviously the Versa is loaded so we'll go ahead and remove the magazine out of it it's got carbons self-defense hollow points again this is my wife's gun this is the Versa uh, not the plus the plus I'm sorry I said in the beginning of the video this was the Thunder 380 plus the Thunder 380 plus actually holds 16 rounds of 380 which I'm really tempted to buy me that one also um, but anyways, this is the uh, uh, Thunder 380 Deluxe. The difference is that they did a, like a two-tone. If you notice, they did like a two-tone of bluing on it. The bluing on the frame, it's a lot darker than the actual uh, slide on top. And right there, I think you might be able to tell. Um, you can tell right there that the frame of the gun is a lot darker than the slide. Just the slide on top. And obviously, the... Uh, engagement here to do the uh, breakdown of the gun so that's the difference between the deluxe and the other versus 380 that it's a two-tone blue plus it holds one more round than the other ones okay but this one has an empty magazine loaded okay we'll, we'll go ahead and put the magazine aside and because we're gonna talk about both guns and how similar they are okay so if you want to hear a lot about this p64 again watch the other two or three videos that i already have on that because i don't want to be repeating myself over and over on the stuff that i've been talking about on the other videos basically this video is going to be for us to compare both um guns okay so basically we can just go ahead and start um with the comparison as far as size if you guys noticed both guns are pretty much the same size okay I think the Versa it's a tad a little bit longer like right there in the barrel um, but as far as you know how big they are they're pretty much the same as size they the Versa it's a little bit wider okay this is the p64 
okay over here P64 and the Versa okay but they're pretty much the same I mean it's not it, the, the P64 is a little bit thinner especially around the grips but it's not a big deal okay they are both guns that you can basically fit on the palm of your hands and the reason I'm doing this for someone that wants to get a concealed weapon uh, or concealed gun for their wife this is a good choice to look into and for the price 179 like I said on my other video that I've heard guys on YouTube that they've paid up to 280 280 dollars for these guns they are JG sales and aim surplus has them at 179 okay it's a little bit more powerful than this one than the 380 this is a 380 Versa okay and this is the P64 Polish um, that shoots the 9x18 Makarov round which is equivalent to our 9mm but it's just a little bit even physically sizing both bullets are the 9mm Makarov is a little smaller but it is a little bit bigger than the 380 and it's got more punch and more power so considering that you can both of these guns you can conceal them very well okay um, my wife loves this Versa um, you can conceal it very well okay they both fit basically on the palm of your hand you can throw it in your front pocket of your jeans it goes really well with inside a purse uh, they're not very heavy and then you have the P64 which is an excellent choice it's a little bit lighter um, smaller and um, a little thinner and it's a little bit more powerful but if you do buy this gun for your wife or your lady I will recommend you to take her to the range because they do have a lot of a bit of a snappy recoil that you need to be able to get used to it and also um, get her used to either not using the double action uh, trigger like I said in my other videos watch those videos that you really don't have to use the atrocious uh, double action pull that this weapon has it's got a 24 pound double action trigger but you really if you follow my instructions you really don't have to use that trigger you can always use this gun on single action mode and you don't have to go through the thing of replacing the hammer the the the, the hammer trigger the spring for the trigger okay I'm sorry the spring for the hammer okay so uh, I mean they're both if you look at them they're pretty much um, the same size it's, it's just you know an option you have okay there's the Versa in front and I will put the P64 in front of the Versa both guns and that's why I wanted to make this video just to show you guys how close both of these weapons are even in their design here um, they are a few things that I'm gonna talk about um, as far as difference and but basically as far as physical size okay it's just up to you now another thing which one is more comfortable if you hold the P64 it does have the little claw or nail at the base of the magazine this one here that you can get the same for the 380 mag now this mag that came with my gun on the 380 it didn't have it and it doesn't really bother me it doesn't bother you in shooting or gripping the gun even me that I have bigger hands than my wife okay but you can get this magazine with the claw that's on the on the Versa or order special uh, order aftermarket magazines believe it or not I heard that the Pro Mag uh, the Pro Mag magazines for the Versa 380s they work really well they don't jam the gun or anything or you can order the original mags that they're like about 30 something 40 bucks they're expensive okay but basically if you hold the P64 it's got like this little end claw here or nail whatever you want to call it or support on the magazine that supports very well your fingers especially your pinky feel finger it doesn't stay out hanging by itself it holds it well okay I'm gonna hold it with my left hand so you can see what I'm talking about 
you can hold it really good now um, it's a comfortable gun okay it's small it's comfortable um, I haven't shot it yet today's Saturday and gosh I've made already like three videos on this uh, thing um, just today but anyways um, it's very comfortable it's a ver I'm not gonna take that away from the gun it's very comfortable for a concealable PPK style gun and especially being a Polish that you know they're a little bit awkward on their gun designs but anyways it's pretty uh, pretty comfortable now is it more comfortable than the 380 Versa no by any means okay the Versa it's a lot more comfortable especially if you get the magazine that also has that claw in there okay that also has that claw in there this one doesn't have it you see how it ends but they do have the magazine with a little support that will support your finger it's never bothered me or my wife to just keep our finger like out out down here to gr gr grab it like this it's not a big bother for us we've shot it a 380 hardly no recoil but anyways it's the 380 you're gonna notice that it's much much comfortable than the p64 as far as ergonomics and just the whole overall feel of the gun it's got this um I forgot how they call this thing out here um that keeps your you know your grip on the gun really nice and the slide slides back it keeps it from um you know gouging you or scratching you which i don't know if that one's gonna do it or not but this weapon it's very nice it's unbelievable i love the versa 380 i think the verse the best 380 out there um is maybe believe it or not i know they are they are argentinian but they did themselves out with this design in this gun it's their most accurate thunder uh versa gun that they put out they know it it's been check out all the reviews on the versa thunder 380 on YouTube and you're not gonna find one negative thing on those reviews about this weapon it is extremely accurate and I'll tell you why it's so accurate just like the p64 because they have something in common um, it is extremely comfortable okay and um, I'm thinking about getting me a Versa Thunder 380 plus the one that holds uh, I believe it's 16 rounds of 380 even though the grip it's, it's a little bit more fatter but i've heard also that it fe feels great on your hands and i mean 16 rounds or 380 it's it's you know you're talking about good firepower there and i'm going to talk about a little bit about the 380 round um and also the 9 by 18 makarov round which is our version of our nine millimeter because a lot of people put down these calibers. Oh, 380. Oh, a nine, uh, uh, nine millimeter Makarov. Oh, I don't carry nothing below a 40. And you know, dude, these guns are so accurate. And within 10 feet, you can easily make a headshot or a neck shot with these weapons. Okay, with fixed barrels than most likely any other big caliber. That you're gonna have to deal with recoil practice and adrenaline and the rush going through okay these guns are extremely accurate for close quarters self-defense and the 380 round if you get the proper load with the proper um card uh you know uh bullet tip a very good defense load they even have the hornady critical defense that expands and mushrooms like you wouldn't believe our uh, carbons are pretty good um they're making very good ammunition out there now for these weapons under power back then maybe but not now this is mr surplus nut and i'll be right back